Many species, including humans, regulate one another's nervous systems. Ants, bees, and other insects do this using chemicals called pheromones. Mammals like rats and mice use chemicals to communicate by smell, and they also add vocal sounds and touch. Primates like monkeys and chimpanzees also use vision to regulate each other's nervous systems. Humans are unique in the animal kingdom, however, because we also regulate each other with words. A kind word can calm you, like when a friend gives you a compliment at the end of a hard day. A hateful word from a bully can cause your brain to predict threat and flood your bloodstream with hormones, squandering precious bodily resources. In my lab, we run experiments that demonstrate the power of words to affect the brain. Our participants lie stock still in a brain scanner and listen to short descriptions of situations like this one. You're driving home after staying out drinking all night. The long stretch of road in front of you seems to go on forever. You close your eyes for just a moment and the car begins to skid. You jerk awake. You feel the steering wheel slip from your hands. As our participants listen to these words, we see an increased activity in brain regions that are involved in movement, even though their bodies are lying completely still. We see activity in regions involved in vision, even though their eyes are closed. And here's the coolest part. There's also increased activity in the brain system that controls heart rate, breathing, metabolism, the immune system, hormones, and other internal gunk and junk, all from processing the meaning of words. Why do the words you encounter have such wide-ranging effects inside you? Because many of the brain regions that process language also control the insides of your body, including major organs and systems. These brain regions guide your heart rate up and down. They adjust the glucose entering your bloodstream to fuel your cells. They change the flow of chemicals that support your immune system. The power of words is not a metaphor. It's in the wiring of your brain. We see similar wiring in other animals too. For example, the neurons that are important for bird song also control the organs of a bird's body. So words are tools for regulating human bodies. Other people's words have a direct effect on your brain activity and your bodily systems, and your words have the same effect on other people. Whether you intend that effect is irrelevant. It's how we're wired.